So for part three of this, we want to actually change the X and Y commands here. So I'm going to make the Y command add three. So we're going to move on a slope. If you're remembering your basic linear math, that is going down three. I know there's no minus there, but remember it's upside down. Down three over two. So we've got it moving on a, a 1.5 slope. Okay, three over two slope. Um, now, if it gets down to the bottom of the screen, it's going to disappear. So what we got to do is we got to make the if statement, and this is a good idea. Let's copy this if statement since it's very similar to what we want to do, and paste it. Now, the target position that I want to change is not the x coordinate or test, I should say. It's the y coordinate, which is the first element or the one element, which is the second element in the array. Okay, over here, same thing, one. Okay, I don't really want to compare it to the width, which is probably one of the mistakes that you might have made accidentally. Okay, you want to compare it to the height. So if the height, which again is loaded right up here at 400, if the Y coordinate, target pause one, is greater than that six, uh, 400 number, then we need to reverse the Y part. So to reverse the Y part, we're going to take the speed, okay, the speed in the second element, which is the Y change, and make that change right there. So before, kind of like a, an old Space Invaders game, we only changed the X coordinate, so the, the target just bounced back and forth horizontally. Now we've got a moving two dimensions, and it should be bouncing around. So hopefully that works. Save it, run it, and boom, and boom, boom. And now it's just basically bouncing around. So let's save this, and let's make it a little bit more exciting. Or excuse me, let's pause that, stop that. Okay, don't worry about the air again over here. That just lets us know that we used a pie game quick. And it shouldn't get faster and faster. That's interesting. Maybe the computer speed might be playing with it, too. So here's a cool idea. Instead of actually, actually, your computer actually might be running at different speeds there. So, so let's see. Um, uh, we want to actually put in random numbers here. So let's put in random numbers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add up here at the import, import, uh, not map, excuse me, random. There's a whole library of random things. And so what I'm going to do is set my speed to not be just 2 comma 3, but I'm actually going to use the command random period. If you wait long enough, a library will, will pop up. And so when you're, in, when you're unfamiliar with the library and you don't know exactly what to get, sometimes that's a better way of doing it. I'm going to do random integer. That seems to be the one I want. So if I select that one, okay, and then open up the parentheses, it'll remind me what it's going to do here. It's going to return random integer, okay, in A to B. That includes the endpoints. So I'm going to say random integer then 1 comma 3. So the values that will appear randomly will be 1, 2, or 3. Okay, close those parentheses. That's the X change of speed. I'm going to do another random dot rand int 1 comma 3. Or if you want, make it a Y direction, have a little more change with it or possible change with it. And this then will use a random number generator to select the speed. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to run that. And you won't notice anything on this attempt, but that one is going at what it looks to be almost like a 45 degree line. So that probably had the same exact uh, random numbers generated. If I close it, and run it again, um, I should see possibly a different angle, and that is a, a different angle. That actually looks to be almost perfectly the 600-400 ratio, so gives you an idea of what random number generators that possibly popped out of that one. Okay, again, if you close it and just run it again, you will see, again, a different path, and it's because of the random number generator. 
So, if you have an alcohol and help the students in the class right now, let's close this up. And uh, that's the end of the part.